Okay, this is going to be quite hard to explain. Um, you can currently see moss on my screen. There's little dude is over there. So, what I'm currently doing is using Virtual Dex Desktop. You see me reflection using the uh, Quest on my head. That's on the computer screen. So, it's quite hard to try and see see what I'm doing in the game, but essentially um, the quest is running MOS through virtual virtual desktop. You see that there? Okay, so that's all working. The sound is coming out of that quest only. And Oculus is using Beat Saber. So if I um alt tab into Beat Saber, you see that going away there is no fail on but again making sure I pick up the right controllers you can see this controller. So I can run both simultaneously on the same PC. Um, the idea of this was to use co-op on say like Arizona Sunshine. The way I'm doing this, if I um, back out here, apparently it's dependent on if your game can run in the background. I haven't tested them all yet, but this seems to be working. So let's chuck my glasses on. Okay, so first setup on this one is basically go into Oculus Tray Tool if you've got a Rift. I don't know if this works with ever headsets and all the rest of it, but I had to stop the services from running. So I click stop, make sure Oculus app was closed. And then it was a case of uh, changing the Steam VR settings. So before you, before you go in, basically I've changed the, uh, where are we here? Steam VR, sorry. Okay. So, if you haven't already set all this up, get the Quest working with Virtual Desktop. That will just save me a lot of explaining. Once that's working, then you can start messing around with the two together. But essentially, um, open Steam VR once you've got your Quest connected and you're playing a Quest game. Um, I've done this through Viveport, so it doesn't launch any Oculus services. It just uses Steam VR. It doesn't need any Steam account logged in, um, which is the best part. So, basically, I've just launched MOS. It started straight up in the quest, all good. So the next part was going into Steam VR, going into the um, audio settings or settings. I've just changed the playback device to uh, Steam Stream Speakers because first time I set this up it was duplicating the Windows and Beat Saber sound out of the quest at the same time as the MOS and it's a bit confusing. And I've set the mirror audio device to none. So do not mirror. Right. That is pretty much the basics on that one. Um, next thing was, as long as you've started your quest game first and using the Steam VR, in essence, just click play on MOS. That's MOS fired up. Alt tab out. Um, I've not windowed it or anything. It just it's all still full screen. Still mess around with the quest. So, alt tab out. Try get to the uh, the desktop if you can. And where are we? Fire up Oculus, it says something like rechecking your app because you've stopped the services um, and then start your Oculus game from there and if, you, if you've not already done so on the um, audio settings like um, go through your, your Windows audio make sure there's nothing duplicating so Beat Saber is obviously on runtime application again doesn't make any difference just make sure it's only the only the game that you're playing is turned up and not like uh, Windows sound. So if you've got Spotify or anything, that's obviously going to probably come through the Quest as well. But it's just the way virtual desktop audio is um, working at the minute. It's just mirroring your desktop. But this does seem to work. It's a bit of a faff. But again, it's just two games playing at the same time. It's pretty awesome. So there's Beat Saber. One person playing Beat Saber. And I'm past it. And the next person playing Moss. Same PC, it's pretty cool.